go. All right, so now I'm going to demonstrate the ditch and dawn on bottom. Remember, this is a composure skill. It's not supposed to make sense, uh, but it does demonstrate your ability to remain calm and composed and be control <clears throat> in control of all of your equipment uh, throughout this entire process. Now you're going to start completely dressed out and you will assume a seated position on the bottom of the pool. Then you're going to remove your fence. Now the order that you take your items off and put them back on is less important than maintaining contact with and control of all of your equipment throughout the entire process. But I do it in an order that makes sense to me. So first we're gonna take off the fins and sit on them so they don't float away. And you want to make sure that you've got all the air out of your hair cell. So remember, hold this up very high so the hose is straight and then lean a little bit to your right so that the left shoulder is the highest point and all the air comes out. Now we're as negative as we can be and we're nice and stable on the bottom. You need to make sure for this skill that you have plenty of weight on your weight belt. So you're gonna take the weight belt off and lay it across your legs like so. Then you're going to disconnect the abdominal strap. Now you're underwater, so your regulator is in your mouth the whole time. I don't have it in my mouth, so I can talk to you right now, but your regulator should be in your mouth throughout this entire skip. Right now, you're going to take the scuba unit off. My recommendation is that the scuba unit comes over your head. Uh, that is, I think, the easiest way to do it. You could come out of it sideways if you want to. Uh, as long as you maintain contact with and control of it throughout the entire skip. But I take mine over my head because I think it works easier that way. You just reach back, and this is a lot easier underwater. I'm gonna pull it up, and lay it right between your legs. Now my mask came off, and it'll probably take your mask off too, but the mask was supposed to come off anyway. Once the mask is off, you're gonna go away five breaths on the regulator without the mask on and count them off. Then the mask goes back on. Then clear the mask. Now, you're going to don the scuba unit. When donning the scuba unit, if you're gonna go back over your head, you need to get both arms through the straps and past your elbows, okay? Now, another thing that you need to be concerned with is that the regulator hose, the second stage hose going to your primary regulator that's in your mouth this whole time, this needs to be between your arms. It may seem like you want it out here, but you don't because if you put it on the outside of your arm, when you throw the scuba unit over your head, it's gonna wrap around your arm and pull the regulator out of your mouth. Make sure this second stage hose is between your arms. Then, you're going on through, through, through. Weight belt buckle always comes around from the left. 